If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. You should always back up your data to prevent data loss. You must be in single user mode to do this. QuickBooks recommends you back up your files daily. That way if the data in your company file becomes corrupted or lost, you can restore a copy of the file from a backup. To make your company file current again after restoring the file, you then need to re-enter all transactions from the date you created the backup file to the current date. However, that is far less work than recreating the entire company file again. QuickBooks gives you the option to create both local and online backup copies of your company file. The online option lets you create backup copies of your company file on Intuit servers. However, the online backup is a fee-based service you will need to purchase separately. Alternately, you can create free local backup copies within the software and simply store them off-site for added security if desired. To create a local backup copy of the currently opened company file in QuickBooks, select File, Backup Company, Create Local Backup from the menu bar to open the Create Backup window. The Option button for Local Backup should already be selected within the initial screen. Click the Options button at the bottom of the screen to open the Backup Options window where you can specify the settings of your local backup copy. In the Local Backup Only section, enter the pathway or folder directory where you want to save the backup copy. You can click the Adjacent Browse button to open a Browse for Folder dialog box that lets you visually select the location into which you want to save the backup copy. After you have selected the folder or drive where you want to save the backup copy within the Browse for Folder dialog box, click the OK button to close the dialog box. Your selection will then appear in the Tell us where to save your backup copies required field in the Backup Options window. You can then check or uncheck either of the two checkbox options shown in the Local Backup Only section of the window if desired. The first checkbox, labeled Add the Date and Time of the Backup to the File Name Recommended, will add those elements to the copy of the backup file that is created so that you can tell when the copy was made. The second checkbox, labeled Limit the Number of Backup Copies in this Folder to, will limit the number of backup copies within the selected folder to a number that you then enter. In the Online and Local Backup section, you can check the checkbox shown to set QuickBooks to remind you to create a backup copy after you close the company file a specified number of times if desired. You can also select the Option button that shows what type of data verification you want to perform on the information within the backup copy you create. This ensures that your backup copy is free from data corruption. Once you have made your choices in the Backup Options window, click the OK button to close the window and return to the Create Backup window. Then click the Next button to continue. In the next screen, choose when to create the local backup copy. To create a local backup copy immediately, select the Save It Now option button. To save a copy right now and also set a schedule for future backup times, choose the Save It Now and Schedule Future Backups option button. To only schedule future backups, choose the Only Schedule Future Backups option button. After making a selection, click the Next button to continue. If you are saving a local backup copy right now, then QuickBooks will open the Save Backup Copy dialog box. Here you can change the file name or destination folder of the backup copy if desired. It defaults to saving into the folder you selected earlier in the Backup Options window. When you are ready to create the local backup copy, Click the Save button. Once QuickBooks has finished creating the local backup copy, it will display a small message box informing you of its success. You can then click the OK button to dismiss this message box. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.